Hey guys, what's up? RBJT Gaming here. Uh, back to you. I just uh, finished up uh, rerouting my uh, my routes for farming up fell iron and adamantite and corium in Terracar Forest. This is actually the uh, previous 60 zone. I think now it's like a level 30 zone uh, with the pre-patch. Um, but yeah, um, I did 15 minutes. That's how long it took me uh, to do a full lap uh, from this marker here, this map pin, which is actually a cool function. This is new. So it definitely uh, helps, um, you know, having a point of origin and then kind of going from where you're mapping. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, 15 minutes took me to do this whole entire route. Um, I redid my route a little bit uh, based on my previous stream. Uh, I think this is kind of better for me, I think. It's a little bit more chill, a little bit more relaxing. Also includes this portion up here, which I didn't have previously. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the route I have. It, it's it's really nice. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know how much money I'm going to make off of all this stuff. So yeah, that's the thing that we're kind of trying to figure out. Um, but I did do some cost analysis and time investment kind of analysis. Um you know, and from my perspective, I would say the potential profit margin per hour would be upwards of 16,000 gold if you hit it the way I did over a span of 15 minutes. Now, that's RNG based and it's not going to be all the time like you're going to make that money uh, because most of the money is coming from the Corium ore, which I found. I found four Corium in a span of 15 minutes. Um, you might find more, you might find less. Uh, but the corium is what's going to really inflate this farm. Um, you might get really lucky and find like, you know, 20 in a span of, you know, 10 minutes. Um, or you might get really poor results and not find any for like a whole entire hour. Um, so, you know, hold it with a grain of salt with, uh, you know, finding the uh, corium. You know, you get lucky, you get lucky, great. Uh, but, you know, from what I'm what I'm looking at and relationship to other farms, you know, the farm that I'm thinking of was the Bloodstained Bone Farm, which you could make like 12,000 gold before the pre-patch. Um, you know, now it's more like 6,000. So, you know, my other option is to farm up 1,200 Bloodstained Bones and convert that, you know, in a span of an hour. That's being pretty, pretty lenient. Probably could get more, but... You know, on average, 1,200 in a span of an hour, um, and then uh, craft the cestus and then sell those to the vendor, and that would sell for, um, you know, 6,000 gold because they reduced the price of the, uh, the vendor price of those. Um, so, you know, if I'm making more than 6,000 gold potential um, from doing other farms, I'll, I'm worth taking the risk, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, but this one, you know, it's probably close to that because I'm going to just eliminate the Corium right now. And, you know, if I look at this, it's going to be in the range of 6,000 gold without including Corium. So, you know, it's a risk uh, because, you know, you don't know if this stuff is going to sell. Um, but, yeah, I mean, try it for an hour, you know, and if the stuff sells, you know, great. You know, keep doing it until it doesn't sell anymore. I mean, that's usually how it goes, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, this one was decent, I think. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to put a disclaimer on this. Uh, you know, potential profit margin per hour, you know, and I'll put up like 6,000 to 16,000 gold or something like that. Um, so, yeah, uh, good luck to you guys. I hope this video helped. Um, you know, the routes feature is great. Uh, I would recommend it to anybody who's looking into doing farming, whether it's for mining, uh, herbalism, anything that has to do with any sort of gathering profession. Uh, yeah, just uh, be safe and good luck to you guys. Happy hunting. All right. See ya. Bye.